we have gathered here together today in the sight of God to join together this man and this woman in the holy bonds of matrimony. And since the ordinance of marriage is an institution of God, it is not to be entered into the that God may add his blessing to it. The Lord said, If it is not good that man should be alone, I will make a helpmate for him. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Whosoever findeth a wife findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor of the Lord. A virtuous woman is power above rubies. The heart of her husband does safely trust in her. She will do him good, and not evil all the days of her life. She opened up her mouth with kindness, and in her tongue is a law of wisdom. She looketh well unto the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children shall rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also he praiseth her. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. And these vows which you are about to make, if they be kept, and if you'll endeavor to do the will of your heavenly Father, then the life which you're about to establish in your home will abide in peace. The Lord Jesus said that a man should leave his father and his mother, and should cleave unto his wife. And having come to the purpose of fulfilling the scripture, who giveth this woman to be married to this man? And if it's not your desire to take each other as husband and wife, you please unite your right hand. Do you, Joseph, take joy whose hand you hold to be your lawful wedded wife? Do you promise before God and these witnesses to love, honor, cherish, and protect her in sickness as well as in health, in adversity as well as in prosperity, and you promise to cleave only unto her, forsaking all others so long as you both shall live? And do. Do you, Joy, take Joseph, whose hand you hold to be your lawful wedded husband? Do you promise before God and these witnesses to love, honor, cherish, and protect him in sickness as well as in health, in adversity as well as prosperity? And do you promise to cleave only unto him, forsaking all others, so long as you both shall live? And now is a token and seal of this covenant which you have made before God, do not give and receive the marriage rings. No rings have been used to seal important covenants. In more recent times, rings have been used to seal the covenant of marriage. And my prayer for both of you is that your love through the test of time. And we ask also that thou would go with them as they go 
on their journey, to watch over them and guide them. We pray thy richest blessings upon their loved ones and upon their friends who gather here today. We ask these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now when God has put you drawn together, let no man put us up to Thank you.